Hello. Alright, uh, this is the question that evolving that showing that the sum of the series uh, of this Sn is represent the sum of a geometric sequence, right? The question never said this is a sum of the series of a uh, sum of the first n term of a geometric sequence. So you have to prove that this is the sum of the uh, of uh, sum of the first n term of a geometric sequence. So this we this this uh, this concept that I actually already discussed it for aromatic sequence. So you can refer to the video for aromatic sequence where we need to use the formula for Tn equals to Sn minus Sn minus 1, right? Uh, you have to view the video, okay? Uh, I'm not going to talk about this here. So you have to refer to the video that talk about the during when I discuss about aromatic sequence, all right? Also, they give you the Sn, and I need to show that that is an aromatic sequence by using this formula. Alright, so but uh, in this case, I'm going to talk one more thing is that if you have T1, T2, T3, T4, and T5, so on and so far. So the property for, for geometric sequence is you take T2 divided by T1, it must be the same as T3 divided by T2, right? It's the same as T4 divided by T3 because they all have the common ratio, right? So it means that if you have Tn divided by Tn minus 1, it must be a constant. Uh, this is the most important thing. This is your objective for this question. Alright? Your objective for this question. Untuk buktikan bahawa hasil tambah sebutan N pertama, anda kena tahu bahawa, anda kena tunjukkan bahawa N term, the Tn over Tn minus 1, must be dapat satu pemalah, constant. Because why? You show that, you see, uh, because 4, 3, right? 4 will be 3, 3 will be 2. 2 is less by 3 by 1, right? You can see that? You prove generally, generally, secara umum, you prove that this is a constant. Then you already show that this is a geometric sequence. Because only geometric sequence, when you divide, right, you will get the same value, okay, not uh, the common ratio. So, <clears throat> okay, it's quite uh, tedious to doing this. So first, you have to apply this formula. Okay, how to get this formula? You view that the video that I discussed in the previous example during aromatic sequence. So how to get Tn? So I have to uh, get the Sn minus one, right? Because this I need Sn and Sn minus one. All right. So I replace the n with n minus 1, right? With n minus 1. So same thing here. I have to be careful because it involves index. Uh. 3 minus. If you replace this with n, n minus 1. This one, n also, you must replace with n minus 1. Can you see that? Mm, slowly do so that you won't make any mistake. Uh, 3 minus n. Minus n plus 1, right? Negative, negative, positive 1. So you have 8 minus 2 to the power of uh, 4 minus n. Uh, this is for Sn minus 1. Alright. Make sure this 2 is correct first. Okay. So now, you want to find Tn. Tn. Tn is Sn minus Sn minus 1. So Sn is 8 minus 2 to the power of 3 minus n minus with subtract with Sn minus 1. 8 minus 2 to the power of 4 minus n. You have to be very good in algebra, right? Such that you can simplify this one. And during simplify, you're happy also, right? So, 8 minus 2 to the power of 3 minus n, negative 8, right? Neg negative, positive 2 to the power of 4 minus n, right? So, 8 minus n, bye-bye, right? Bye-bye. So, you have Tn equals to uh, 2 to the power of 4 minus n. I put the positive one. This one cancel out already. The positive one I put in front. 2, 4 minus n. Minus away 2 to the power 3 minus n. Ah. So this is considered complicated. Can you simplify this? Yes, you can. You have to apply your knowledge for index and algebra. So, okay, I'm going to write here. Tn equals to 2 to the power 4 minus n minus with Sorry, 2 to the power, 3 minus n. So let's see how we're going to solve this, right? Very simple. You see, this one is 2 power 4, right? Uh, what is negative n? 
means 2 divided by n. Uh. You have to understand this, right? Because minus n means divide by 2 to the power of n. That's why 4 minus n. It's also 2 to the power of 3 divided by 2 power of n. Uh, so tn is equal to, because the denominator are the same, right? So you can combine them as 2 power of n. So this one will be 16. 16 tolak dengan 8. So you see, we are enjoying simplified index, you know. 16 minus 8, you have 8 over 2 to the power of n. Slowly, you are getting simple and simple, happy and happy, okay? So, 8 uh, and 2 to the power of negative n. I just bring it forward. Oh, this is my n term. Okay, I leave it like this first. This one even can further simplify. Okay, oh, okay, I simplify for you. So, what is 8? 8 is 2 to the power of 3, ma, right? Multiply with 2 power of negative n. Bracket, right? Multiply with 2 power of negative n when you bring up. So now you combine because multiply base are the same. You add up the index. 2 minus 3, uh, 2 to the power, 3 minus n. Uh, this one even beautiful. Mm, 3 minus n. Alright. But the question don't want this. Yes, this is your n term. But you need this to show that this 2 is whether a constant or not. Right? Uh, so it's a quite a complicated question. Uh, so... <coughs> Okay, I'm going to erase this. Alright, so now very simple. Now your objective now is to show that Tn over Tn minus 1 is a constant. Right, so now, okay, let's uh, move on. Let's see, you have uh, Tn. Tn equals to 2 to the power. 3 minus n, right? 3 minus n. Remember that? So, and you need Tn minus 1. So, we're going to generate from this. Okay? You need the Tn minus 1. So, you write as 2, 3 power of... Remember, you replace the n with n minus 1. Put bracket, you know. Okay? So, you have 2 to the power of 3 minus with n. Negative, negative positive, 1. Then you have 2 to the power of 2 plus 1. 3 plus 1. We have 4, right? 4 minus with n. So this is your Tn minus 1. And this is your Tn. Okay, finally, I can take Tn divided by Tn minus 1. If you never get a constant, this is not a geometric sequence. If you get a constant, this is a geometric sequence. Or maybe you did not get a constant, you may do careless mistake, right? That's all. Right? So Tn, so what's the Tn? Uh, 2 to the power of 3 minus n divided by Tn minus 1. 2 to the power of 4 minus n. I hope that I get a constant, right? So 2 to the power of 3 minus n. Divide, base are the same, divide. You you subtract the index. Ah, uh, you minus the 4 minus n. Then you finally you will get 3 minus n, negative 4, negative 4 plus n. Ah, uh, jang, jang, jang. 3 minus 4, negative 1, negative n plus n, 0. Yes, you have get 1 over 2, which is a constant, right? This is your objective. Constant means that you are getting your objective, you know, which that your Tn divided by Tn minus 1, you get a number. This number is 1 over 2. And this number is actually your common ratio. For geometric sequence, this is a common ratio. Alright, so, <clears throat> okay, let's look at this question. The question again asks you to find that, okay, you have already shown that this is your uh, a constant. You ha you must write a statement, you know. Alright, you must write uh, since Tn divided by Tn minus 1 giving the value of constant therefore Sn is uh, is the sum so, uh, so that the series is a the series is an Geometric 
sequence, right? Uh, geometric sequence. So <coughs> the question not end yet because they ask you to state the common ratio. Yes, I already found my common ratio, which is one over two. Means that the common ratio in this case is R equals to one over two, right? Ah, if this question further asking you to find the first term, how you want to find the first term? First term is what? First term is actually T1, right? Uh, you also can find first term from this question, uh, T1. So 1, so T1 is 2 to the power 3 minus 1, 2 power 2, which is 4, right? 3 minus 1. So uh, you have uh, 2 power 2, you have 4. First term is 4. The common ratio is 1 over 2. Alright, I hope you understand a little concept from this example.